I hope you're all well. I'm gonna state the obvious that I am in my pajamas and dressing gown and it's actually like 10 o'clock in the evening and I've been at work for 11 hours. I came home and I was really in the mood to film a haul video but I didn't want to get changed from my work uniform into normal clothes so I'm filming in my pajamas. I hope you don't mind. Sorry it's not very professional but that's how I roll. So I've got quite a few bits to show you from a variety of places that I have seemed to have accumulated, accumulated, have you say it, over the past month to two months I'd say so I'm just gonna get started because I have quite a few things to show you You know that a haul is not gonna be complete without one or several Disney references and if you are a reader of my blog you might have seen a recent blog post which was an eBay Disney wish list and the first thing that I bought off my own wish list was a countdown to Disney which I have been doing every single day and I just absolutely love it I'm so glad I bought it handmade and painted by this lady who I bought it from I'll link the blog post to my wish list below so you can click the link through to this it's just a little white wooden plaque with the little chalkboard Mickey Mouse and every day I get my little piece of chalk which should live in here but I dropped it so it's all broken and I cross off the number and I write down how many days it is until I go to Disney and I just really love it it's really really sweet and it sort of matches my room and I'm just so glad I bought it so at the moment it is 175 days till I go to Disneyland Paris and roughly 330 till I go to Florida when I'm filming this video so I'm really really excited to have this and every day I wake up and the first thing I do is change my countdown When I was in Paris which would have been in June this year I wanted to buy myself something and I wasn't really sure what to buy and not much caught my eye but then we went in the Paris Disney store and I felt like I need to buy something in here and it is this Rapunzel cup I also bought one for my best friend Chelsea who I'm going to Paris with because she loves Rapunzel and it's just purple it's got all glitter in it it's got a little uh, Pascal on the straw and it's got Rapunzel all around it and I really really love it and I really like this sort of cup and this might sound strange to you but I always have a drink on my cabinet when I go to bed and I get worried that like a spider or a bug's gonna go in it while I'm asleep and if I want some in the night like I don't know if there's a bug in there so this means no bugs in my drink or anything else so anyway I loved this cup so much that my friend Georgia who I work with said that they do a Disney princess one with all of them on it and this one is a pink one and it's got all of the princesses on it that you can probably see all the way around and it's got hearts and glitter and a little crown and again I love them and they were both five pounds moving on to Topshop I tweeted about these and the tweet I said was the best thing about being single is that you don't have to impress anyone apart from yourself with your underwear choices and this is so true with these although some people said they were impressed three for ten pounds Disney knickers can you go wrong I think not so my first pair are Nemo love them you've got Crush and I can't remember the name of the baby turtle that's probably really bad but you've got Nemo and Dory and Marlin on there my next pair are the Little Mermaid I'm a big fan of these you've got Flounder and Sebastian on there so I really like these as well and then probably my favorite because it's my favorite princess film are the Beauty and the Beast pair with the uh, characters on there you can see Mrs Potts and Chip and Lumiere and Cogsworth all on there and I just love these. If they had Belle on they'd be better but yeah. Three for ten pounds and at least I know that my underwear is cool. I bought this white t-shirt that I've literally worn every maybe two days a week every week for six weeks. I love it so much. It's so soft. It's starting to not be as white as it was when I bought it because I've worn it so much. But I've said in many videos before that I'm really bad with clothes. I just like simple things normally. I like black and white and grey and I needed more basic tops, a v-neck, top shop, white, really soft t-shirt, a little bit of a shorter hem at the front and the back, and I don't remember how much it was, it wasn't that expensive, it was probably around the £12 mark, but it's really soft and lovely. I then wanted a slightly smarter white top that was a little bit different, I know, another white top, so I bought this one from Topshop, which has got this little scallop detail, and it's got it on the bottom as well. I don't know how to describe the material, but I do quite a few tops of this, like, material in Topshop and I really really like it and again it wasn't that expensive and it's not cropped but it's not as long as the other white t-shirt is. Two things from New Look now that were actually sent to me kindly by New Look to feature in blog posts and I haven't put the blog post up at the time of filming this video but if it goes up soon I will link it below. The idea of it was Man Crush Monday so I'm posting about my man crush which is Harry Styles and I'm going to find a picture of him in an outfit that I'm going to recreate with these two things I've got from New Look and then sort of show you how I wear the Harry Styles look. That's my plan anyway, I don't know how it's actually going to go. For a while now I've wanted to pick myself up some black boots with a slightly bigger heel than the ones I've got. The ones I've got are pretty much flat, maybe a heel that big, but I don't do heels, I just can't do it, it just hurts 
and I don't like to put myself in unnecessary pain. I've worn them once and I could walk in them but it wasn't easy, but I was okay. So they're not gonna be everyday boots for me, even though some of you will probably look at them and think they're not even high, what are you talking about? But I can wear them for nights out or when I look when I look a bit more done in a way. But I really like them. They're these black boots with the heel there. Yep, yeah, I know it's not that high, but for me that's high. And they're sort of the Chelsea boot style. They're around the 24 pounds mark. And they're really, really nice. I really, really like them. A very classic style that's gonna last me forever and I just need to master the walking in them, I think. I've seen a lot of people wearing these lately, so I don't know if this is fashionable now, or I've no idea. I sized up because I like to wear these open with a white t-shirt underneath. The green flannel check, and I just really like it. The quality is amazing. It buttons up at the front. I'm probably not showing you very well, but it's really nice, really soft. I know I will wear this a lot, so I might see if they do all the colours, because I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So yeah, really like it, and I like that it's green, because I don't really own anything green. If I go to the Primark till, they always have something there that I don't need, but I do need, and I buy it anyway. And my One Direction tissues are almost running out, so I picked up some Minnie Mouse ones. And tissues are boring, so when there's a chance to make them more fun, I'm gonna take it. Maybe a pound for the tissues, I've no idea. The last Disney item in this video, I promise, is probably the greatest t-shirt ever. You know by now that I love grey, I love Disney, and my favourite non-princess Disney film is The Lion King, so... Isn't this just the greatest t-shirt you've ever seen? Six pounds, like all the Disney t-shirts are in Primark. I love the rolled sleeves, because I do that to my t-shirts anyway. I love the sort of burnout style t-shirt that it is, and it's got the silhouette of them on there, and it says Hakuna Matata, and it's just my favorite t-shirt ever. I'm wearing this to Animal Kingdom when I go, I'm wearing it to Paris when I go to Disney. I wear it all the time anyway, I just love it so much. Primark, you are great. The last Primark item is a pair of jeans which I've never bought Primark jeans before and it took me a long time to pick this pair. I took maybe eight pairs of jeans, the same jeans but all different sizes because they had them in regular and long lengths and I have quite long legs. My hips are a lot bigger than my waist but I like things to be high-waisted. So jeans is a really hard thing to buy for me. My favourite jeans are probably the ASOS Wrigley jeans, I've said that before, but I just wanted a cheap and cheerful pair in this sort of colour. Usually a size 12 in jeans, so I thought I'll try 10s, 12 and 14s in all different sizes. I ended up with the size 12 long, but the size 10 jeans in the regular fitted me, but the size 14 long didn't. So if you're buying Primark jeans, definitely pick a few pairs because I don't think they're made true to size in any way. I think they're just cut however the machine wants to do it. So try a few pairs on. They're 11 pounds and I really do like them. They're not amazing quality, obviously, but they're really soft. They've got a little bit of stretch in them. I don't know how much wear or how long they'll last me, but I like the color because I didn't have this color in any jeans at the moment. And yeah, cheap and cheerful. If you are gonna try Primark jeans, make sure you take quite a few pairs in the changing room and don't be annoyed if your size doesn't fit you because like I said, the 10 fitted me in some and the 14s didn't in others, so it was a bit of a guessing game. One of my favourite shopping websites is actually Very. I was asked to work with them on one of their summer edits and I was given the trend Oriental Bloom. I put together some of my favourite picks and wrote about it and it's actually up on their website which is really cool. I'll link it below if I can find the link. And um, they, are, they said I could have something from my collection. And I was really like a bit, oh, what do I pick? And I wanted to pick something that I thought was a statement piece, but it is kind of in that trend in the same way because you'd pair this with a kimono or a flowery top. So I picked this leather skirt. It's a bit too big for me. Like I said, I'm a lot smaller at the waist than I am at the hips, so it's not a true, like a perfect fit. But I'm thinking with jumpers and thicker things in the winter, it'll be quite cool. So it's this leather skirt. It's got these pockets, and I really love things with pockets. And it's just a mini skirt, and I really, really like it. It's really nice, and it's got the exposed zip at the back. And it's just one of those things that you don't own in your wardrobe and you think, oh, I do actually really need one of these. So I'm really grateful to Vary for giving me this because it's really, really nice. And I'm sure I'll get a lot of wear out of it when I think how to style it because I'm not sure the most flattering way at the moment, but I am thinking with like a chunky knit and maybe the new look boots, it'll be quite nice when it's a bit colder. Recently, Rochelle from the Saturdays has released her own um, range of Vary and I was invited to the press day, which is in Claridge's Hotel. Oh my God, that place is stunning. Like I felt so out of place in that hotel. Hotel. So I was invited to go and watch the fashion show and see the new collection. From Rochelle's collection, I picked this jumpsuit because she was wearing it and she looked phenomenal. I don't really know if it suits me yet, but I do really, really love it and I love the print. So it's this jumpsuit that's strapless with the sweetheart neckline and it's kind of got like structure in there, if you know what I mean. 
and again it's got pockets so things with pockets I love just a full length jumpsuit and I really really love the colours of this I think it's something that will look lovely winter or summer because it's dark but bright I think it's so beautiful and when I find somewhere to wear this I will wear this and post pictures if I don't look that bad in it on my blog and it's just a stunning piece so I'll leave a link to this below I don't know how much it is I'm sorry but it's gorgeous and I'm just her whole range is actually really really lovely H&M are one of my favourite shops at the moment they are really on the ball the plain blue shirt cotton it's got white buttons that aren't done up and it's a bit creased the sleeves are already rolled up and that's how I wear it anyway and I just love it it goes with everything it looks great with jeans it looks great with the next thing I'm about to bow to show you Sometimes I will, if I'm feeling daring, tie it up at the waist so it's slightly cropped. But it's just such a versatile thing and I'm so glad I bought it and I think it was £14.99 so it's a bargain as well. My second piece from H&M is slightly daring for me. I don't normally wear things like this but somehow I think this works for me. It's these printed trousers and I just saw them and this outfit was on the mannequin with the shirt I just showed you and I loved it. I just thought it was so nice. They're cropped trousers so they, they sit a little, a, a few inches above the angle for me and I think it kind of works and they're not high waisted or anything but I just love the print. I think it's so, so nice. Sort of slim fitting but not skinny. I think it's again a print that you can wear summer or winter. I'm not sure how to wear them with what shoes to wear them with in winter because of the fact they're cropped but I love them, they're so nice and they weren't expensive again, I think they were like £19.99 because I liked that print so much I bought the dress version of it and it's gorgeous, it's a high neck and it's got little three quarter length sleeves and it's just beautiful, it's again, it's not bodycon but it's not skater, it's kind of a little bit tighter at the top like flared detail at the bottom and I just think it's really really sweet, I really like it I wore it on my birthday, I think it's one of those dress up, dress down, it looks really good pieces and I think this was, it was around £20, it might have been 20 it might have been £24.99, I'm not sure, but I really like this a lot and I'm really glad I got it. My last two things to show you are from ASOS, I love ASOS so much. First is a play suit and this is too big for me, but I've already worn it and I'm going to keep it and I don't mind that it's too big for me and it's jersey material as well so it's stretchy which is doesn't help that it's too big. Love that it's black and white, it's, it's, is this gingham? I think it's like the gingham check print and like a sweetheart neckline and it actually looks massive doesn't it but I like it like that I guess on the bottom because it means it's, it completely covers my bum and I don't really want to be flashing my bum to people but it's a bit big on top but it's okay I still like it a lot and it's just a really really lovely play suit I really like it a lot I'll probably take it to Disney with me actually because it will keep me nice and cool and it'll be a change from the Disney t-shirts. This was around £19.99, I'm not 100%. Everything in this video that I can will be linked below, but I love this. It's super soft. I really like clothes that are soft, like I don't want to put uncomfortable things on me. My last thing to show you in this haul and my last ASOS thing is something that proves how ready for autumn I am. It is this gorgeous little cream jumper with like a coloured fleck in it. I hope it shows up, but it's got like blues and reds and I think it's quite subtle and it's really nice and it is so soft. It's so lovely and I just love this. I like that the sleeves are like slightly different so it's came on it all over and then the sleeves are like that. I don't know how to explain it but I love this. Again it wasn't that expensive and there's always discount codes for ASOS. Maybe £25. I didn't own anything like it before and I like that it's slightly different with the coloured fleck and it will go with the play suit with my new snazzy trousers with the leather skirt. It goes with everything and I just want it to actually be colder so I can start to wear this. I think I never thought I'd say that I want it to be colder. It's just the girl like sitting in her dressing gown. That's everything I've bought in the past six weeks or so. Again apologies about the pyjamas but it's just too cold I'm too lazy to make an effort thank you so much for watching it really means a lot to me and it would be amazing if you would like the video and subscribe if you haven't already that would make my day and i'll see you very soon in my next video thanks for watching bye